Are you excited about Throne and Liberty but unsure which class suits your playstyle? In this video, we'll dive into everything you need to know about the game's classes, helping you pick the perfect one to dominate the battlefield. One of the biggest challenges in any MMO is choosing a class that fits your style. Throne and Liberty offers unique options, and picking the wrong one could mean missing out on an epic adventure. In this video, I'm ranking the best weapons to choose, going from the weakest to the strongest. So let's begin. The Sword and Shield are classified as D-tier primarily due to their balanced but underwhelming performance in both offense and defense. While this combination provides solid defensive capabilities, allowing paladins to absorb damage and protect allies, it falls short in terms of damage output. This makes it less effective in situations where high damage is required to quickly eliminate threats. Players using Sword and Shield need to focus on playing a supportive role, relying on their defensive strengths rather than offensive prowess. The Staff falls into the C-tier category due to its lower overall damage output compared to other magical weapons. While it provides decent versatility and the ability to cast a variety of spells, its slower casting speed and reduced damage make it less effective in high-intensity combat situations. Sorcerers using the Staff need to rely more on strategic positioning and crowd control abilities to make up for its deficiencies in raw damage. The Wand is categorized as B-tier offering moderate magical damage and versatility. Used primarily by classes like the Sorcerer, the Wand allows for quick casting of spells and is effective for both offense and utility purposes. Its relatively fast casting speed makes it a reliable choice for maintaining pressure on enemies while still having the flexibility to support allies. However, it lacks the raw damage output of higher tier magical weapons, limiting its effectiveness in purely offensive roles. The Greatsword is placed in the A tier for its high damage output and effectiveness in close combat. Berserkers wielding Greatswords can deliver powerful sweeping attacks that can hit multiple enemies at once. This weapon excels in situations where brute force is necessary to overpower opponents. The main drawback of the Greatsword is its slower attack speed, which requires players to carefully time their strikes to maximize damage and avoid leaving themselves vulnerable. We're halfway through, so tell me which class are you most excited to try in Throne and Liberty? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The Dagger is classified as a tier due to its exceptional attack speed and burst damage capabilities. Assassins who wield daggers can execute quick, lethal attacks that can incapacitate enemies before they have a chance to react. This weapon's strength lies in its ability to deliver rapid, consecutive strikes, making it ideal for close quarters combat. However, the trade-off is lower defensive capabilities, requiring players to rely on agility and evasive maneuvers to avoid taking damage. The Longbow earns its S-tier status by providing excellent range and high critical hit potential. Rangers using the Longbow can maintain a safe distance from their targets while continuously dealing damage. This weapon is particularly effective in large-scale PvE and PvP environments, where maintaining distance and controlling the battlefield are crucial. The Longbow's effectiveness is enhanced by the Ranger's mobility, allowing for strategic positioning and sustained damage output. The Crossbow is classified as an S-tier weapon, due to its high precision and critical damage output. It allows sharpshooters to deliver accurate, powerful shots from a distance making it an ideal choice for players who excel at long-range combat. The crossbow's slower reload time is a minor drawback, but its ability to deal devastating damage with each shot more than compensates for this. Its precision makes it particularly effective in PvP scenarios where landing critical hits can turn the tide of battle. I hope this video has helped you better understand the classes in Throne and Liberty, and how they can impact your gameplay. Don't hesitate to try out all the classes and their combinations to have a better experience in the game. Want to enhance your MMO experience? Try Exit Lag for free and enjoy a lag-free adventure in Throne and Liberty. Click the link in the description and start your 3-day free trial now.